to have doobies now as he did in the first two matches. And a big cheer goes out to, Jay, to James Price. Great outstanding effort. Just two minutes away from Gloria, the Philippine Volcanoes. Sandon Herra, he's quick, he's powerful, he's unpredictable. And he carves out a hole in the middle of the defense of the Volcanoes. Sri Lanka's going to try to score here. Rubber kick, awkward, taken by Joey Matthews. He's got to let go of that ball. As you can see, the Sri Lankan on the bottom is covering his ears, his head. It looks like he's injured. Matt Saunders, chip and chase. They have an overlap there. A oh, chance here for Sri Lanka, but the overlap closed in a hurry. Great defense, great hustle by the young skipper. Ito talaga lumalabas yung conditioning ng mga teams. And the reason Mubarak is... Uh, down on the turf, it's 14 men only for Sri Lanka. Chip and chase, I don't know about that uh, option, and Michael Letts is going to kick for touch. And he's not going to find it. It's won by Wiracorn. The defense is on right here. Mubarak back on the pitch. Surya Bandara. The Sri Lankans on the right side are just walking. Penalty to Sri Lanka. The Philippines were going off their feet under the rock and it's taken quickly by Namal Rajapaksa. Rajapaksa, what a run from him. And always tried to get it to his winger, Kumara. But his oh, winger oh, oh, oh. it forward and I think that was the last chance there for Sri Lanka. And the time has hit the 80th minute. What a brilliant run here from Rajapaksa. And it's actually not Kumara, but the big center of Yusha Chaturanga will be having nightmares about that. Yes, he would be. If you hung onto that ball, there would have been a faint chance, but the whistle can blow at any moment now. It's important for Jay Letts. Surely the Philippines will kick for a touch. As you can see on the sideline there, the volcanoes getting ready to have a party. They're getting ready to run on the field. And uh, Coach Expo to lead the pack. As soon as they can kick this ball out, the game is over and the fat lady is singing. First they have to win possession off the scrum. They, they do. got it. And they're going to run it out. Unbelievable. They could just kick yes. it. They this is not, that was a bad option there from the Volcanoes. They should have kicked for touch right away. I do not understand that decision at all. <laughs> Referee's part of the field of play. Oh, he's going to give the put into the Lankans. Eric, that was a rash decision. I think, was that Coveney? That was Coveney. Um, sometimes if you feel like you, you have it, you will always you'll try your best to run it. So he had the energy there and the stamina. So he tried. Yeah, really, they should have just kicked for touch or at least get the ball as far away. Just to end the game, because yeah. even though the Sri Lankans score here, they're still Ula. Oh, oh, if they score the Ula. So, totoong toto, walang pag-asa na ng Sri Lanka to win. Nagilip na ang Sri Lanka. The scrum's gone down. It's collapsed. It's going to be a penalty. Quick tap taken from Sri Lanka. So may the Malana, the try scorer, it's gone out. I think there could be a knock on or two there somewhere. The referee is not giving any signal. The ball. It's come out and let's show you. The referee has a move. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. Thank you very much for your support. On behalf of the Philippine Volcanoes, the PRFU, we are proud to be Pinoy. 
today and forever. Halos mangyayak-yak na siya. The Volcanoes All is in a furious comeback from Sri Lanka in the second half and hang on for the 10-point victory and are promoted to the top flight of the HSBC Asian Five Nations. What an extraordinary accomplishment. We'll take a short break. Don't go away. We'll be back for more post-game here from Rizal Memorial.